Hey, Robert. Astroneer has finally landed, guys. It's on Xbox Game Preview, Steam Early Access, and also it's on Windows, surprisingly. Uh, kind of shocked that you have a pre-alpha game releasing on three platforms on the same day. I think they had a bit of a hiccup with Steam, but I, I think they resolved it instantly. I don't, I don't know if it's still going on. Um, Astroneer, space survival game. You like Ark? You like Minecraft? Even a little bit of DayZ or survival? This may be for you. Though, however, it is an alpha, so if you don't like bugs, I don't, I don't think you can, I don't think you can hack it. Um, I haven't ran anything, I haven't ran or I haven't encountered anything too, I guess, uh, what do you call it, game breaking. Um, besides the tethers, and I think everyone's having an issue with the tethers, or at least non-host players are, if you get my drift. Um, uh, with survivals, it's kind of a learning curve. Um, so I've decided to make like I guess a, a beginner's guide. Is that's what you call it. I don't know. I charge twenty bucks for it. Not really. Anyway, it's a beginning guide, beginner's guide uh, to help people get started. I had no idea when I first started playing um, what to do. I had friends who had no idea what to do, so I decided to, I guess, make this a little series to get us going in Astroneer, and as we progress from alpha to beta to 1.0, blah, 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 you know, things will change. So take that as a word of caution. Some of the stuff may be even pointless in the future. Who knows? And if so, you know, I'll change it. So in Astroneer, there are these things called modules. And with those modules, you can create things with. So one of the modules is a research tab. With that research tab, you can go out into the world. You'll find this like little orb, this little chunk of the world. And you bring it back to your research uh, module and you learn something new. Uh, there's also a vehicle bay, obviously, just like in the name. You're able to create vehicles, like a, I think a rover and like a giant truck is what's available right now. What else do they have? They have a printer, which will be your crafting table, and you also have a smelter to refine resources you find out in the world. In this first video, I'm going to go over the smelter. I think the smelter is the first thing that you should get. It's the first thing you should make. Um, in order to use the printer, I mean, you need the smelter. So I don't know why anybody would else would start with a printer when it's redundant to even use because you need the smelter to refine the resources in order to create in the printer. So this video, first video, is how to get the smelter. Um, right off the bat, you're going to land and you're going to try to find this, or two resources. You're going to try to find two resources. They're very common, they're surrounded so you have to go on this big journey. Right where you land, you'll find them. The first one is going to be Compound. Compound is a very common, you can find it on the surface, or if you want to go into the cave, you can go into a cave, um, is a resource that you're going to need. And right off the bat, you're going to want to get at least, what, four stacks? Yes, four. And it looks like this, it's this white, pearly, snowball, puff cones, puff balls, whatever you want to call it. And I'll explain why after I get four of them here. Okay, so we have four. So in Astroneer, things require energy. For instance, you can see my gold, you know, bar slowly refilling. So this is why we're going to grab four of these. So the first one I'll explain is that it's a solar panel. So this will make me be able to vacuum or mine blah, blah, blah faster. As you can see, it's replenishing a whole lot more. So that's what you should get the compound for us rather than the next material, which is called resin. Resin is basically your your building material for now. Um, it's pepper cylinder, whatever, spaghetti, macaroni, whatever you want to call it. And you just need three stacks of these. So let's get three stacks here. If I can aim right. And just like that, we got three. That's all I need. This is all you need to get started with uh, the smelter. It's really easy. For me, I wouldn't have been nice to know when I first started because I was building a vehicle bay and it's like, you can't build this. Anyway, smelter, real easy. Right click, right trigger, extend it, resin. This will extend it out. You can extend it further if you want, however you want to build it. Now you can only make just like this little external port, I guess. You can only make four of them. We have one right now, so you can make three more if you want, but don't. I'm trying to get you to make the smelter as fast as you can without, you know, uh, I guess, wasting materials. 
So we got to extend them once. Now we can build a module or we can extend it more. It's up to us. We don't want to extend it. We want to build this, uh, the smelter. Just like that, you have the smelter already. Or not yet. No, you have the module to build the smelter. So find the smelter. Then this is what those two extra compound are going to come in handy for. So this little green thing, obviously, you can make it green as go. You can make the smelter. Bam. Just like that, we got the smelter. But it's not operational. As you can see, the little, I guess, battery. It needs energy. We got an extra. This is why we get the fourth compound. So we can make an extra solar panel. Again, like I said, many devices require energy, which is this orange bar. And we're going to take that extra solar panel, and we're going to stick it right on here. So just like that, on day one, you already have a smelter going in order to refine resources. Now, if you're lucky, if you see... We're going to find maybe one. I did see one over there. Let's see if there's one closer. If you're lucky... I don't really want to go out there. If you're lucky, if you see that... that that's like a little, I guess, like a care package drop pad whatever over there and sometimes those uh, contain like extra items uh, it sometimes may even uh, carry aluminum so if you have aluminum which you cannot get without the smelter hence why we're going for the smelter first you can create cre excuse me you can create this wind turbine which is basically an improvement from the solar panel in my opinion because you know if the sun's down you cannot get energy so that is why the aluminum is required to make the wind turbine, hence the wind turbine is better than the solar. But um, that's it for the smelter. I mean, there's nothing to it. Uh, that's it. It's that easy. Three stacks of compound, or no, three stacks of resin, which is the purple macaroni. And then you have four stacks of the puffballs. And like that, you have the smelter. It's ready to go. And then we can, in the next video, we'll go on our next adventure, which would basically be you know, finding, you know, aluminum and copper so we can start building things on our printer, which in turn requires the smelter. Again, I keep mentioning it because it's the most important thing to get first, in my opinion, because I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't. So that's the smelter, real easy. Um, if you guys liked the video, you know, thumbs it up. If you didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so that's the smelter. Uh, it's Astro Near, guys. It's only nineteen. It's only what nineteen ninety nine uh, American. I, I I love the game already, and you know I'm just doing like a little guy, and it's an alpha stage. I love it. Um, if you have any questions, you know, leave me a comment. Again, guys, the next video will go over the printer. Next one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey, Robert. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in and watching today. If you liked what you've seen, don't forget to wreck that subscribe button. It's real easy. My emblem right there in the middle of the screen, hit it, bam, you're subscribed. We have two videos on the screen also right now. We have my most recent upload and a random playlist that I have. Social media is also in the description. We have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, and even Tumblr. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.